Hello, and welcome to Framingham Now. I'm Jack Patrick Lewis, State Representative for the 7th Middlesex District, which includes all of the town of Ashland, most of South Framingham, and just a little bit of North Framingham. Because we're going to be talking about precinct numbers and district numbers today, here in Framingham I represent precincts 8, 13, 14, 16, 17, and 18, in case you were curious if I were your state rep or not. On this program we talk with elected officials, community leaders and area activists about the current political landscape in Framingham and the future of the town that so many of us call home. On today's show, I will be interviewing the two candidates running to be the city councilor for District 3, which includes precincts 4 and 7. On the show today, I have Joel Winnett and Adam Steiner. Joel, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. And I know so many people around town know you because of so many years you've been working around and in town. But for those couple people watching at home or online that haven't had the, the pleasure to meet you or have you knock at their door yet, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're running. Well, uh, to start from the beginning, I'm a long-term Framingham resident, uh, over 50 years Framingham resident, and a previous town meeting member encouraged me to run for town meeting uh, over 40 years ago. Uh, once I start something, I continue. Uh, so I've been a town meeting member and an active town meeting member. Uh, Ways and Means Committee Clerk, uh, a Rules Committee Chair, and when I do something, I, I get involved, I do my homework, and you can see me at town meeting doing what I do. Uh, b based upon my experience, especially with the Rules Committee, the selectmen appointed me to the uh, uh, Bylaw Review Committee, the transition from a town to a city, and so I'm able to bring my experience now, and that's what I want to do uh, in the future is continue to build on what I've done and make it available for the uh, new city of Framingham. Excellent. And in a couple of weeks, we're all going to go vote. And let's say you're elected, you're sworn in, and you uh, are one of 11 city councilors in January. What are the maybe two or three priorities you have uh, going into this new form of government for town? Well, I, I've answered that question before, and my answer was traffic, traffic and traffic. If you can solve that, you can take <laughs> over the world. So that's the three. But to be serious, um, the problems in, in this district particularly, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not only in this district. Throughout, as, as anybody drives through tra Framingham, uh, there are traffic problems. We're growing, uh, well not growing in numbers, but we seem to be growing in, in the number of cars mm -hmm. and the problems at various intersections. Uh, I have uh, taken this as an issue that I'll see what I can do about it. Uh, I've identified the intersections in this district uh, and, and the North Framingham, uh, Edgell Road and uh, Water Street, Edgell Road and uh, Belknap Road, and Temple Street. Those are the three uh, areas that are of big concern. Mm -hmm. um, and just to say what I do when I'm active, I actually spoke with the town engineer yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, gave him some suggestions, uh, asked him what their plans were, and said, okay, you've got big plans. Can we do some small uh, pieces of work? Uh, paint the lines in the street. Uh, allow for a right-hand turn at some of these intersections to make the uh, traffic flow easier. Uh, so I've uh, been involved, and uh, that's, that's, the, that's number one. Okay, number one. That, that, I guess so you traffic, call that traffic, traffic, traffic. Traffic, traffic, traffic We'll is make that all one. number one. And, and then zoning. Um, so zoning is something you have to be proactive on. Uh, the, in our district, Millwood uh, Golf Course is being developed as a over 55 residents, and the residents are very concerned. Mm. Uh, they had residence meetings, a neighborhood meeting, over 20 people attended in somebody's house, and said, what can they do? Uh, I suggested, and they followed through, to go down to the planning board meeting, uh, get a petition, and express your concerns, and this they did. They had a petition with, I don't know how many, but over 60, maybe 100 signatures, wow. complaining about the density. Too many people in that, in that new development. Um, uh, one of the problems is uh, the, the issue is controlled by the zone planning board. So the, pl the planning board did recognize that the developer wants to exceed the zoning requirements or wants to get waivers from the zoning requirements. And I'm hoping that the planning board will stick to our, plan, our, our zone um, and that they get uh, the distance between units have been reduced and that they will adhere to 
what they said to town meeting. When they came to town meeting advocating for their project, they said they would allow 40 acres of open space. Well, it's 30 acres of contiguous space in along the Millwood Road area. And that somehow seems to be shrieking, mm -hmm. shrinking, but uh, I've been advocating by writing a letter to the planning board, uh, letting to our community as well, uh, saying that this is important. The planning board is where we get our solutions. It's too late now to go to town meeting or town council and change the zoning, but we can do that for future developments. Uh, so I'm proactive, and I've got something to do. Um, and I guess if, that, if those were two, okay. the third one would be a help for a smooth transition uh, from our town to our, our city. And that's, that's uh, what will be my, pro my priorities. One of the things I'm most excited about with a new form of government is that we will have people in each section of Framingham that live in the community, that understand the community, we can all try to advocate for every road in Framingham, but when you live on that road, when you're in proximity to people who uh, are affected by some of these things that are happening, it, it makes all the difference. And so you're running to be one of the 11 city councilors, but if you're elected, you will be tasked with representing in the larger conversations those people who live in this newly formed District 3, which is precincts 4 and 7. And as you're talking about the issues that happen in your community, uh, it makes me that much more excited about what it will mean to have people who are really living it day in and day out uh, be forced in some ways to be a part of the, the conversations and decision making. Uh, I'm curious if you could talk a little bit more about, so you talked about your main issues, in traffic, and a lot of them that were specific to your, your part of town. Uh, other issues as you think of like uh, citywide. I know people are talking about education, people are talking about taxes. Are, when you think of larger issues, are there a couple others that you're uh, maybe hearing on the doors as you talk to people about major priorities? Well, as I knock on doors, um, people have said uh, transportation, mm -hmm. uh, and that's almost related to traffic as yes. well, uh, but that's an alternative. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is a local uh, transportation uh, bus line, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it doesn't go down Pleasant Street uh, to the Pheasant Hill neighborhood. Uh, and, they, and some of the students there could get a bus to go to the center, maybe also to go to Shoppers World. Uh, that's true in other neighborhoods as well. We need to increase our public transportation. Um, biking, yes, uh, that's somewhat of an alternative, but it's not, I, I look at that more as a recreation mm -hmm. than a transportation. Though they say, um, you use it to get to Natick or something if, when we get these rail trails together. Uh, so, uh, but you mentioned other areas of town. I'm very much aware of what goes on in, the, in downtown, um, and, the, and I'm all, I've, I've met the people uh, in various parts of our community. A town meeting, the big thrill I had at town meeting was to be able to meet people all over our community uh, and get to know that people that are different still have a way to express themselves and we can work together. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've shown. Excellent. And you have a couple more weeks to go before we go back to the polls to decide who are going to be those final 11 folks to form the first city council. You represent precincts four and seven. Those folks vote at Brophy School. Uh, just always like to remind folks that even with these new district numbers, you're running to be district three representative, but the precincts four and seven, they also still exist. And so it's just one more number to keep in mind. Uh, but where you voted yesterday, where you voted last year, is where you're going to be voting on November 7th. And that's important to, to keep in mind. And you'll vote there for the state house and the president's, yes. uh, what have you, the same place. Same place. <laughs> nothing, nothing's changing on that front. So one of the questions I like to ask our, as our time sort of draws to uh, an end is what it is about Framingham. You have chosen to not only live here, but 40 plus years of service on town meeting means that you've really put yourself out there. And I believe that there must be something about this town itself, this soon-to-be city, uh, that makes it the sort of place that folks like yourself are not only happy to live in, but to advocate for in this very unique way. And so. bring up my children and my grandchildren who go to the Framingham Public Schools. Okay. Uh, so I have an investment in the schools as well. Uh, but that's not the role of the uh, city council. But what I like about Framingham is kind of a mix of 
uh, businesses and recreation. Uh, I, uh, one of the questions that have been asked is what, it, where, uh, what do I like best in, in Framingham? And Farm Pond, Cushing uh, Park, Callahan Center are places that I go. And believe it or not, I've taken my kayaks uh, on the Sudbury River right, right in my district. You can get onto the Sudbury River and go kayaking from, from the district. Uh, you can go bicycling. Uh, you can go to Amazing Arts Center. You can take uh, part of the library uh, programs, the lifelong learning classes. Um, we have a great library, and, and this is our, our new big thrill in town. Mm -hmm. I think you summed up Framingham perfectly. It has it all going on. <laughs> and you don't have to travel outside of Framingham to do everything from great outdoor <laughs> recreational things to great programs at the library. And to know that there are people like yourselves and the, yourself and the other people running for city council who, who get that, who understand that, who are going to work day in and day out through this campaign and after the campaign if they're so fortunate to make sure that Framingham continues to be not only the, the heart of Metro West, uh, but the place that provides for so many of the, the needs that our families have. And so I want to thank you so much for your 40 plus years of service on town meeting. Uh, Jewel, I'm so grateful that you took the time to come on the show. Pleased to be here. And there's problems, but they can be solved. And life is good. Excellent. Well, for those watching at home, please stay tuned. We will have Adam Steiner on in just a few moments. Thank you. Thank you.